Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I have a hilarious clip to show you guys. We have a frauditor who is getting literally dragged out of the post office by an officer. It is glorious. These cops are not messing around with these dumb frauditors and it is hilarious to see. So grab your popcorn, it's about to get wild. But before we get into that, I want to introduce our partner for today's video, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is a company owned by Ryan Reynolds, and it's completely changing the wireless industry. Mint Mobile offers you unlimited talk and text with 5 gigs of data starting at 15 bucks a month, all while running on the nation's largest 5G network. Now you might ask yourself, Josh, how is it possible that Mint Mobile can give me such a good deal compared to the other networks? And that's because Mint Mobile does things differently. There's no sales team, there's no brick and mortar store, and that's how they're able to pass on the savings to you. The beauty about it is that you don't even need to switch your phone number or your cell phone, and this is how you get started. Click my link that's available in the description or the pinned comment, then click on start saving. Next, you choose your plan, and then you choose your delivery method. You can get your SIM card by mail, or with certain phones, you can get an eSIM card that can be activated right away. And just like that, you're saving money. So don't wait any longer. Stop overpaying on your wireless bill. Click on my link in the description or in the pinned comment and start saving today. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So the video starts off with this brain dead rocket surgeon trying to explain what's going on in his fraud. And as you guys can see, this guy is extremely high. His eyes are barely open and it looks like he has a hard time staying awake. So yeah, I wouldn't expect much from this guy. Uh, Hines, I mean, uh, Sergeant uh, should have took over that right there. At the end of the video, it do just cut off you guys. I apologize for that. Uh, I ran out of storage actually. <laughs> So, man, I apologize. I'll be well more equipped for the next one. But I'm going to let you guys take a look at it. Until next time, peace. Kansas City. We out here at the United States Post Office. North Kansas City, Gladstone on Berry Road. Let's see if they honor and respect. Hi. Hi, how you doing? You doing okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, Are you at the post office? Are you at the post office? No. Can I help you with anything? No, I'm just, I'm just recording. Oh, what just recording. Yeah, there's no soliciting on postal property, right? It's no what? There's no soliciting on postal property. I'm not soliciting nothing. I don't think they're comfortable with you recording them. Well, they in public. They're in public. They're not okay with you recording them, sir. Look at this young lady. She's turning the other way. She's not okay. She's uncomfortable. Please don't make my customers uncomfortable. So you may have noticed that the image is blurred. It's because I added that the guy was recording a kid. So he was being beyond creepy. And of course, he has no concern for children's or anybody's privacy. So I just blurred the entire screen because that way it's just easier to make sure the kid is not on camera. Okay, Major. You call okay. on one if you have to. I want to hear the thing. Oh. Can you see it? Mommy, I want to hear the thing. She said you can't record. Oh. I mean, I literally just walked in. Yeah, go ahead and go to the call on one. I'll back you up. No problem. Can you see it? Don't delete that. I'm going a, I'm to a request that. Put it in there, but because I didn't come up here yesterday. And then we started it up with the Yes, put it. I'm going to keep this myself. <laughs> so put it started for Literally, just got in. Just go through it and see if it has something. But I want to prepare and see if she has any mail somewhere. Or if they put it in my mail. I know why some idiot in the village is coming in my door. Yeah. Sir, 
Yes. What's your problem? I don't, I don't have a problem. Okay, and then. No, sir. Mommy. What's your problem? Mommy. What makes you think I have a problem? Huh? What makes you think I have a problem? Are you the postmaster? No, I'm not the postmaster. Is I the work postmaster here? here? She's not. She's I not? work here. Okay. That's why I'm asking. What's your problem? I don't have a problem, sir. Then please walk up. No, I'm going I'm to stay here. I have every right to be here. But you don't have any right to record me. I do. You just walked up to the camera, sir. <laughs> you can, you take, can you take off your face if you think what you are doing is right? Can you take off your face? Look how close you is. Why would I take my mask off? Because you know what you are doing is not right, so you can't put your face out. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Joseph. Joseph, how you doing, Joseph? I'm doing fine. Yes, I'm just up here recording. For what? Just let me know and I'll give you whatever you want. I know what you can do for me while here. You have the passport application. I don't see we them don't out sell here. Some, we don't do some here. Passport application, you have to go to Glassdoor. Okay. So what else do you need? What else do you need? So they answered his question that there aren't any passports being done here. And now he's stuck. He doesn't know what to say. He is dazed and confused. This guy is 100% useless. Clearly, he watched way too many frauditor videos. He thought he could make a quick buck and it's not working out for him. Yeah. What else do you need? You want to know something funny? Mm -hmm. Come here. This right here mm -hmm. is called Poster 7. Mm -hmm. They gave this to you in training when you was on Persian Road next to Union Station. Mm -hmm. Let's go right here. Mm -hmm. What do that say? Photo say what? What do this say? Read that. No, no, say it. Say what it says. You right here, read it, sir. I can't read, so okay. read this. No, you read it. It's your job. <laughs> You can't record someone who has come to the post office to do a business. You can record anything, but you can't record this lady. It's a breach of her privacy. That is all I'm trying to tell you. Okay, let me. you ready for this? Yeah. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Can I take you and put you on, the, on online? You can if you're not at work. So can, that picture, listen to Can me. you take off your face? Listen to and me. Let this human Look how off. close you are to me. Why would I take my COVID mask off? You know it's coming back around this year, right? You know. <laughs> why would why you would see? why would I want to take my yes. why, why would I want to take my look how close you was to me though, sir? Because you. you are infringing on other people's privacy. You trying to infringe on my rights. I have a right to record. That's he, does she have a right to tell you don't record her? She have a right to say it. And she told you right here that she doesn't want to come in. She didn't say that. I don't want you recording me. Okay. But are you still recording her? I'm recording yes. you. I'm in the same She's space. Right I mean, you can't stand next to her and expect me not to record. I mean, I'm not trying to record her. I can't record the post office. Let and we're in public. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. I don't care what you are recording, uh -huh. so I'm not hiding my face. Okay. If you are man enough, take off your face. Take off your face? Mask. Okay. If you are man enough, take off your face mask. Yeah, you spitting when you talk, man, so... I'm doing uh, what? I think spit come out your mouth when you was talking, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to catch none of that. He didn't even want to read the own rules and regulations on postal property. Once again, we have a nitwit who doesn't understand what Poster 7 actually says. It clearly says that you may record unless prohibited by signs or other authorized personnel. So, who is that employee right there? Oh yeah, that's right, he's an authorized personnel. It's like these people are so brain dead and they spread so much misinformation that this is the result. You have completely useless idiots that just pick up a cell phone and go harass everybody in sight. How's it going? What's your business? 
I just came here to record, but they had called the police, so I'm wait we are waiting on the police now. So I did ask them did they have a uh a uh passport application, but he said I have to go to the Gladstone one to get it. So you're asking for a passport? I asked him, did they have an application? He said they don't have those here. We don't have those. Okay, that's, that's fine. I still just came to re record. But if you guys had that application, I would have got that as well. Hey, how's it going there, officer? What's your How you name? doing? What's your name and your badge number? Officer Bush, 4680. Thank you so much for being professional. What's your name and badge number, sir? Officer Hines, 04918. Thank you so much for being professional. I asked the young man if he needed anything when I realized that he was reporting my customers, and I'm like, I don't appreciate that. If it's in there to help you with, go ahead and mm -hmm. let me know what you need. And he just continued recording. Mm -hmm. And um, the young lady that was sitting over here in line in queue, she was getting uncomfortable, you know, when sure. the customers. Like, totally. That's not okay. It's not appropriate. So mm -hmm. please, can you leave the property? Okay. Since you are not conducting any postal business. Mm -hmm. So he refused to do so. Okay. Well. I felt the need for you guys to come on by. Sounds like you need to leave the property or we're going to take you to jail. <laughs> well, come over here. Over here. Okay. Marcus. This, over here. This are you, is. Are you willing to press charges? Listen. Check this out. Excellent. All right. Can we get a supervisor? Can we get a supervisor? Can we get a No, right here. Listen, no. This is poster seven. This is the rules yeah, and regulations. She said you're not conducting any postal business. Listen to me, sir. Okay, let's talk outside. But, but this is the rule. Come on. There you go. Listen, what look is at this. your vehicle. Look at, look at this. That's the rules and regulations saying okay. I can't read, sir. You didn't just get the not, you're not the shit. I did. I asked him for a passport. I left and gave the lady her hey, own personal space. Not what you just doing. grabbed my arm. I got everything on camera. Uh huh. Can we yeah, get so a supervisor? Can we get a supervisor out here, please? Well, please. you need to leave. This is public property. No, That's a not. lobby. No, it is not. This, this, this is a private this is business. Actually a private hey, listen, I know listen, it says United States Postal Service, listen, but it's actually listen, a private entity. You're told to leave. You listen, do not leave. Listen real quick, sir. Are you refusing to leave now? I'll, I'll, under threat of arrest, I'll leave. But listen, okay, good. But, but go. listen, there's a poster seven in there. It says I have the Just go look, sir. Can you please go look? But here, here's the, the one thing I do know. I understand if this was a government building, I understand if this was a police station, I understand all, all that on a government building, yes. And, 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 and one more well, one more thing, sir. You know, right now I'm doing a protected activity. No, first Amendment, freedom right, of the no, press. This, this is freedom of the press. You've been told to leave, you refuse to leave. That was her first time ever saying to leave, sir. I got yeah, everything on camera. Not, right, but the, Man, that was hilarious when he said, there you go. I kind of felt like he was dealing with a child, and I'm sure he felt the same way. Gosh, this fraud is so useless. I mean, post offices, really? In 2024, you're still doing a post office? How pathetic. Service actually is a private entity. It's not, I understand it says government, United mm -hmm. States Postal Service, uh -huh. but it's actually a private entity. Okay. So it's not like- And can we get a supervisor, building. please? I'm gonna go stand on the sidewalk, we, we've but- got a, We've got a supervisor but, in the room. And I'm gonna go stand on the sidewalk, because you did tell me to leave, but when I go stand on the sidewalk, can you please, that's, that's the rules and regulations of postal property. There's a section for photos and photography. Can you please read that? It says I can take it into foyer, lobbies, entrances. Okay. It's right there. I'm gonna go stand there, we're gonna wait on your supervisor, okay. and they're gonna let you guys know. Wow, man, you put your hands on me. That's an assault, man, if I haven't committed a crime. You can't walk me out. You can't put your hands on nobody. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Y'all see that? He grabbed my arm and pulled me out the public lobby. <laughs> Ooh. There's most definitely complaints coming down on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Don't tell me Miss Karen is going to file a complaint. That is terrible. I'm sure the officers are shaking in their boots. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Anyways, with his little giggling laughter like the supervisor is about to come and save the day, the supervisor is simply going to roast you some more. How you doing, sir? You sergeant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sergeant Gerner, how may I help you? Can I get your name and badge number of clothes just for the record? My name? I just told you. My name I, I, I couldn't hear with the wind. I'm Sergeant Gerner. My 
badge number is 4944, yes. serial number. Yes, sir. I came in here today just to kind of get some public information. Uh -huh. I know I have every right to record in here. It uh -huh. actually have a poster 7 in there with the rules and regulations on poster property. Saying that photos and photography may be taken in the lobbies, foyers, and corridors. Okay. Clear as day. Right when I walked in, the lady had, she triggered the, the issue. Uh -huh. She said, hey, what are you doing here? I said, I'm just recording. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, you can't record here. You can't record my customer. She said, this lady do not want to be recorded. The lady didn't even say nothing yet. Mm -hmm. But I even left the building just to give the lady her privacy, okay. which I really don't even have. I didn't have to do that. Okay. Anything I see in public, I can record. That was just a little lobby. I wasn't going to be in there that long. Look how little it is. There's nothing mm -hmm. in there. Okay. But I did ask them for a passport. They let me know I have to go to another building. I couldn't even get public information to ask them. I'm just documenting as I'm handling my business. These gentlemen, I forget his name, but he actually grabbed me and pulled me out the pulled me out the office. Not even letting me show him the rules and regulations on postal property. This is a First Amendment protected activity. You cannot turn that into a crime. You and the postal people took an oath to uphold the Constitution. And you pulled me out the building, sir, when I'm telling you I have the right to because do so. You weren't leaving when you were told to leave. I don't have to leave. They can't make me leave just because I got a black shirt on. I have to commit a crime. For you to make me leave this property. They, ask you to leave, you they can't leave just ask me to leave. No, it's not. That's not a trespass work, sir. If I'm at the police department, you can't just say, hey, leave. I have to commit some type of crime. Or if you're causing the disturbance. I didn't cause people it. feel uncomfortable. I did. You, that's a, that's a, another come on, another sir. situation. Come on, Sarge, now. I'm not making nobody uncomfortable by recording. You can't turn protected activity no, that, into a crime. You, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, you can record anybody you want and so i didn't say not nothing interfering with anybody's I'm not, work or anything I, like that they came out to me okay all right oh it, it's a little lobby sorry once you walk in there you see it's little it's, okay. it's it's nothing too much you can do or say i just had a couple questions okay. i was in there 20 seconds and the lady ran out to me it wasn't seconds. 20 seconds you got that on your phone i got that see the lady was outside seconds. she was outside getting something out somebody's okay. car so when i walked in she came in right behind okay. me and was like hey what are you doing you can't record so, and, and, and what's your name again? Your name and badge number? Officer Bush. Bush put his hands on me and pulled me out the office. Yes, he did. Because you were free to leave when I told you. But I'm going to go talk. I haven't talked to the manager. Uh -oh. so I'm okay. And, and you got to let him know just because they want me to leave minus a crime that you can't do that. Trespassing is a crime. Trespassing is a crime. But I wasn't trespassing. You got to commit a crime first. <laughs> you got to commit a crime, sir, sir. 25 years. And you ain't got that. Oh, actually, I think he's doing the job perfectly. He removed the criminal that was harassing customers, so he did his job. What else are you asking of him? He didn't arrest you. Is that what you really want? I guess he does need to get arrested. It's kind of like a badge of honor that they post on their channels, and that's how they get credibility amongst other criminals. They can't make me leave just because I got on a black shirt. You know that, right? <laughs> what 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 they tell me to leave for? Hey, <laughs> Missouri Supreme Court, I re rule. We can record our uh our officials, our government officials, in the course of their duty. You know that? I couldn't understand what you said. Yeah, it don't seem like you was trying to either. Even when you was up close, you weren't trying to uh understand. That's that poster seven on the wall in there to say I can record. Okay. Ask you to leave. Okay. Not leave. There we're going to <laughs> That's not how trespass works, sir. Yeah. You got to learn law and not feelings, man. Enforce the law. Don't enforce feelings. Inf law enforcer. Enforce the law. You enforcing her feelings, man. Just because she said she want me to leave. Time, place, and manner. As long as that building is open, I can be right there in the lobby. Public. Police station. As long as it's open, I can go in there. And that was a horrible investigation to be on the force 25 years, man. All you did was got they, you got what she said. 
That's all you did. 25 years and that's your investigation? I don't believe you've been on the force 25 years. I don't believe that. And if you have, shame on you, dog. Dang, there's a forest. Was you able to see poster seven? Say again. Was you able to see the rules and regulations on I the did wall? See, did you also did you also see the, the rules about disorderly conduct and if you're impeding uh customers doing I didn't business? say nothing to nobody, sir. Right when I walked in, the lady instituted she came outside. So right when I came in, she came right behind me. I didn't even know who she was. So you just started talking to him. She could have been a customer. I don't know. So once once I noticed that the lady was really just uncomfortable, I went outside so she could handle her business and then just came back. And I only hung around because they said they was calling you guys. Right. So he's saying that he wasn't interrupting the flow of business and that he's not interfering with customers, but he clearly was. He's there recording their kids, acting all high and shit with his eyes halfway open. Clearly, there's something wrong with him. And if he doesn't have any business there, why is he there? You wouldn't let a homeless guy just sleep on the floor in a post office. So why would you let an unemployed loser with a flip phone just walk around there all day and record people? You're not allowed to do that. And that's why these cops are doing their job perfectly. Right now, you're on you're on sidewalk anyway. You're not you're on public property. And here's the deal. In that foyer is public property you're correct about that but the, the issue is when you're making customers uncomfortable that's a prohibited act which prohibited act which is on that rules and reg regulations if you're impeding any business any customers doing business that's a prohibited act that's yeah. on that rules and regulations this is a first amendment protected activity you cannot turn a, a first amendment protected activity into a crime that's public property i'm not saying nothing i can record your feelings don't overrule my constitutional right so if you're uncomfortable with me recording you and we're in public you go to disneyland with your read, with, you go read. to disneyland with your kids and you about to take a picture you're gonna make everybody behind you sign a waiver they uncomfortable being on your let me read the the actual word come on sergeant come on get them this is public. This is public. This is public right, property. It is a public building, but if you're making people uncomfortable, I'll read this to you so you can get it all on on your disorderly conduct. Or I'm not impeding. Conduct that creates loud or unusual noise, or which impedes entrance or departure to post offices, or otherwise obstructs the usual use of. I didn't do none of that. Foyers, corridors, I didn't offices, do none of that. elevators, stairways, none of parking that. lots, or which otherwise tend to impede or disturb the public. I didn't do none of that. You just said in your own words that you I made that gal uncomfortable. I didn't do none of that. Which is their right to do in order to ensure that the post office operates as well as, well as it can. Now you're out here, you can report all you want. We can't keep you from going back in there now once we leave. But again, if you continue to do the acts that make people uncomfortable, make the workers and make the, pe the public in general uncomfortable when they go in there to conduct their business, that's I'm sure we're going to be called activity. back out here, and then we'll call the postal inspector and have them come and take care of us. Okay. Okay. And, and, and again, one more thing, you guys. Do you already have his info? Yeah, no, we've not. You just want to give it? Uh, yeah, do you want to provide us your information? Am I obligated? Okay. So can I go back in there? It's only fair since you got all our information. You're public. You're a public servant. I'm private. Back on He said I can go back in there. He said he's going to leave. Damn, damn, look at this dude. <laughs> wow, man, this. <laughs> oh, man, he wanted to make an arrest so bad. Wow. Uphold our constitutional rights, man. This dude right here. This dude right here. Yeah, skate. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Yup, look at this dude. Here we have yet another drugged up frauditor who's willing to get himself arrested for pennies. This time he didn't get arrested, unfortunately, but he sure got humiliated. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to try out Mint Mobile. That way you can save money on your wireless bill. Click on the link in the description and pinned comment and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!